We're starting our meeting at um, uh, 3.33 and big thanks to John who's agreed to take minutes today. Page, saying big thanks to John. <laughs> John Page, this one here. Um, I am going to summarize the statement from the governor. Because of the COVID pandemic, the governor has changed some of the regulations around open meeting law, enabling us to meet all virtually through Zoom. And that's what we're doing. So uh, let's, I'm interested, uh, Angela appears to, oh, she's not there. I've attended a number of town uh, committee meetings and a, a lot of committees chairs don't do that at all. So I guess it depends on who's doing it. So let's um, review the agenda and I will pull it up here. Thought I had it right here. Um, there we go. Okay. So, uh, there. So we'll review the agenda. Just um, our goal is to put together or finalize our plan for interviewing key staff and committee members and to review the materials. So the elements of that are timing, uh, confirming uh, how we're gonna report, reviewing the materials and so on. I think that's the only thing we really have to do at this meeting. Does that make sense to everyone? So um, we've determined the minute taker, big thanks to John, uh, approve the minutes. Huge thanks to Liz who did a terrific job Anything you want to comment on here about the agenda? Um, I didn't, did you send out a, an agenda in advance? Yes, I sent it out Monday of MLK day. Yeah, I, I did not receive that. Nor did oh. I. Wow, did others receive it? I just, I saw it on the website, but I didn't see it. I'm not sure if it went through. I must have uh, made another, made some kind of mistake. So is this agenda okay with people? Uh, well, I think that the minutes that we're approving are from oh my goodness. January 7th, Thank but you. also um, I am my, I have a new computer on its way. This one is at the moment will not let me access um, any documents. Oh. So unfortunately, any changes that need to be made to any of the documents that I've sent out, I cannot at the moment access them on my computer without shutting and rebooting, which will take five minutes. So, okay. so uh, someone else, if we have changes, someone else can do that. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, I have, I, I actually, okay, that's okay. It, it's on its way though, I'm so excited. <laughs> We're all doing our best. In service to the town, so thank you. Wait, oh, I can't. Uh, I just don't know how that November, and I didn't when I proofread it. I didn't see that. Is this the right day? Yeah. yeah. Um, anything else about the agenda? So I did send the minutes out. Did you all get those minutes? I sent them out Tuesday. Yeah, I got the minutes. Yeah, I got the minutes. Comments on the minutes? I thought they were really uh, captured the discussion really well, Liz. I have, I have one extremely minor one. Um, my name, the last name has a C in it, S-C-H-O-E-N, so. Not minor. Well, no, because it's, this is how everyone pronounces it. They all say, everyone says shown. So if you take this, but anyway, it, it, that happens in, a, in the attendance one and then down below also. Okay. All right. um, if you want, um, I, can, um, I can download it and make that change right now. So if we want to get to final. Um, or I can, I'll, I'll just make actual with a pencil. I will yeah. make notes and I will fix it once I reboot. Okay. Thank you, okay. Liz. Okay. Right. Any other comments on the minutes? No, okay. uh, I am going to stop sharing so that we can see each other. Um, all in favor, I'm sp I think we're supposed to call the roll. Kathy, as amended? Yes. John Fenske? Yes. Holly Bowser? Yes. 
John Page? I'll abstain because I was not present. Okay, good. One abstention. And, uh, Liz, yes. yes. And myself, Meg Gage, yes. Great. And Liz, I just noticed I, I appear later in a few places too when you do committee assignments. Yeah, yeah. It's, you're consistently spelling it the other way, so you can search. <laughs> um, I'm just going to text John because he missed the last meeting sort of by accident. But um, it seems I don't have his cell phone number, so I'll just send him a quick email in a minute. Or does someone have time, since I'm facilitating, to send John McCabe a quick email? Although I just sent the notice about the link. He must have gotten that. Let's give him an, let's just keep going and if, give well, him a few more minutes. You're, so you're, and Meg, your host now, let me just look on participants because if he came in with your link, he won't be with uh, us. That's true. He is, he's outside. You have to promote him to panelists. Okay, let me just see. Oh, wow. This is a new thing. So that's why you don't want to send that link. Um, no, so you, no, what do I, do I click allow to talk or more? No, you promote to, since you are the host, you have Yep. Click on him and you can promote to panelists. I just did. Okay. There he is. Thank you for Come that help. And start video. Here we go. Hey, John. I've been, I've been knocking on the door for a day. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Come in. We wow. just realized what happened. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's cool. Angela left and um, I've actually never had done that before. So, so just yeah, so I don't know what people heard me, but when you get that first notice from Angela that here is it, that's an individual panelist invite. Yeah. If you try to get in on the one that's posted, you do get in, but you get in the way John just did. You're out. You're out in the hinterlands until someone realizes you. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> until someone knows you. Someone notices you're there and grabs you and pulls you back. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't give me any way to get in. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, we're all learning new, new tricks. Yeah. So we've just uh, approved the uh, minutes. John Page is taking minutes this time. Um, and I'm gonna put, um, and our goal is to um, finalize our plan for the interviews. Just, would it I, can I just ask a quick housekeeping question? Um, I have been a little lax on getting the um, minutes onto our website. I noticed I've missed the last several meetings. So who has the um, all the final minutes? Because I need to collect them and make sure I'm not missing any. So there's a different person for each different meeting. So why don't you and I talk, uh, Holly, and I think I can figure that out. I need to update. Or do we want to have everybody volunteer to send the minutes to Holly? that they have finalized. Why don't Holly and I just talk tomorrow morning and go over each meeting? I have all I have all those, but I don't have them necessarily amended versions. Once they've who, been re-amended, right. But I know who has them, I think. Okay. All right, I'll touch base with you tomorrow. So Jane, I will, this I'll, Liz. yeah, I'll, so I'll change the, I'll, I'll fix the spelling of Kathy's name in the current minutes and I'll send them to Holly them. tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Okay, good. So John, if you could just note that Holly and I are going to, um, well, I've written it down here too, so are going to finalize that. Who has what? Thanks, Holly, for bringing that up. That's important. So um, why don't we start with reviewing the materials? Does that make sense? And thanks to Liz for uh, doing putting them together. Um, I'm going to would it be helpful to have them on the screen? Sure. Is it, would it be helpful for me to put them on the screen? Yes. Sure. Yes, please. Okay. Um, let's, should we start with um, what is participatory budgeting? Okay. Get it up here. And then Meg, are you going to be doing the uh, um, changes to, into the draft that you've got since I cannot access it. Yes, I'm, I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Um, and you'll see that I've put one edit in myself already, but we can, not that it's going to, that we're going to discuss, what am I doing here? That we're going to discuss. So this is the, um, it's not a page anymore. It's a little more than a page. So I've, I added one sentence, but this, um, why don't we all, uh, take turns commenting on 
any edits that we might want to make or additions or deletions. There are always ways of getting something on one page. As so well. I, have, I have just a question. Is, is what I'm looking at, is it something you sent me or something Liz sent me? I sent it from Liz. It's forwarded from Liz. Liz sent it to me and I sent it to everyone. Yeah, I'm just looking for it. I just got it um, Tuesday. So I have, I have a general observation, which is that um, I, th I think that, you know, the upper part, um, let's see, blah, blah, blah. Through, through point C, it all works for the, the three invites I'm going to send out. And those are all relevant to point B. And uh, they're going to the town manager, to the council president, and to the three CPOs collectively. Uh, but then I look at the questions, and I really think that these questions all belong to the questions around point A. In other words, um, with possible exception, if you could scroll up, Meg, so we can talk about them. Uh, Thank you. I'm sorry, down. I meant down. Um, <laughs> Uh, so I think, so for example, the, um, maybe the third bullet could work with the three that I'm sending invites to and the, I think it's the final bullet on the next page uh, could possibly apply, but basically it would be at most those two bullets out of all these plus the uh, points that we discussed last time that I introduced, which are relevant, the questions relevant to, to point B that, that I would be uh, issuing on on my invites and I just wondered if there's any dissension from that idea I just don't see that the rest of these questions are relevant to asking about um, you know the things uh, relative to facilitating and consulting with the um, uh, citizenry on, on participation I think when I Am I, yes, I am unmuted. When I was putting this together and I sent the, uh, what I was calling the bonus questions, uh, those are separately. That's, that's sent under, um, since they're just for the town manager, that is not on this document. But I was wondering if there's a benefit to telling the people who are interviewing, first of all, who, who else we're talking to. And also just so that, you know, here are the questions that we're asking of everybody um, but when we go into the situation, when we go into it, maybe, you know, then we say, well, this is, you know, we wanted you to know all the questions, but here are the ones that we're re really going to focus on today. I think that's a great idea to let everybody know who the other people are. Well, excuse me, though, for the town manager, there are actually two separate invites. There's an invite that's focused on these questions, and there's an invite that's focused on the questions that are in the... Uh, uh, appendix, the, the separate document, the ones, the, the ones that I prepared. Right. So I, I mean, I guess for the town manager, you could have them all together. But then of the three invites that I'm sending out, the council president and the CPOs, uh, they're really only getting, or as I've understood it, they really should only be getting questions relevant to point B. Uh, and I just think it would be way too broad and it would be confusing them to give them all these other questions and to be talking about point A. I, I, I agree. And what I thought in my simple-minded way of thinking about what Liz has done is she's given us a Word document that you could say, um, these are the three things we're doing and I'm here to talk to you about, so you just end a sentence about B, dividing more expect yeah. way. And then you would do just what you said, find the quest, and then you would only show them those questions. That's right. Yeah, I, I would be for. So you, and, could you, know, just, you could edit, you could edit this to the perfect document for that email. Well, that's, that's, yeah. that's my, that's my intention. That's in yeah. other words, another yeah. way of saying what I'm saying is yeah. my intention is, and I'm going to share with Liz, the one for the CPOs and with Meg, uh, that one, but also the one for the town manager and the council president, um, a document that really basically goes through point C and then it gets to the questions that I developed around point B. Uh, but, you know, it, again, uh, maybe the CPOs, we could profit from hearing what they have to say about the third bullet and the final bullet, but <laughs> that are here. But otherwise, I think 
these points are relevant to the other set of interviews. And I think we've also agreed that we're sending these materials, but the, the, if the interviewees take it in some direction that isn't exactly what we anticipated, that could be useful as well. Sure. There's yeah. a, there'll be dynamic meetings that we can't anticipate. Absolutely. I think that I have a feeling um, the CPOs are going to be interested in this. Uh, well, I'm curious. I'm really interested in, to see what their their questions are, but I think they all have a lot of curiosity about trying to do more along all these lines. A, B, and C. But okay, okay. In other words, you would yeah. like. Um, and again, I, I I'm going to send out a draft before I issue the invitation. I'll send it to Liz and you. Um, but basically, you're saying that for at least the CPOs. Uh, we ought to be asking all these questions as well. <clears throat> in other words, we're looking to get as much as possible in our discussion with them. I mean, I, I, I don't understand that much how, what the long run intention is or how much they participate already, but I thought that these questions were very specifically developed with key people right. who are already involved in Resident Capital Requests, Community Preservation Act, the uh, CDBG and so forth. I didn't mean that we would ask all these bullets of the CPOs. That's, that's, I don't think we would. I meant that they may be interested in A, B, and C. Oh, I see. Right. We could talk about them in a general way without right. necessarily posing, putting those questions in the one pager to them. But okay. for example, the first bullet, I'm not sure that would be useful to ask them. Exactly. I, so I would not send the, all the bullets to everybody. Kathy? Yeah, I, I think almost none of these bullets work for them. Yeah. Um, you know, but, but you know, if you look at them, some of them have more about, you know, timeline outreach, you know, it's timeline outreach, um, letting people know the length of time period. So, um, you know, you, so certainly the last bullet would work on best of all, but it wouldn't be your yeah. committee, you know, so you we'd have to, I think whoever's doing the CPO should just edit these down to be relevant to, they can do outreach, they can have ideas of how they could help coordinate, they can have ideas that in fact do cut across A, B, and C. Right. But they wouldn't know, um, is there flexibility in the budget? Mm -hmm. but, um, you know, if I go through these specific ones. Um, but we yeah. could come up those of I think is it John is it just you and I and or Liz doing that one too right right I'm I'm sending out three invites one is to the CPOs and that includes Liz and you and the other two are the council president and the town manager and that's just you and me but I think we could come up the three of us with some bullets that would be specific for them for example mm -hmm. uh, having been in this job for whatever what do you what are your thoughts for increasing participation around Okay. I mean, I, I'm yeah, not well, this is great. great bullets right now, but I think we could come up with some that invite them to share their experience because they've all worked really hard uh, at trying to increase community participation in a, in a range of different ways. Yeah, no, agreed. This is the, the open ended question uh, idea. Mm -hmm. I would agree. I would, I would say that A, B, and C are relevant. Um, like Meg said, are relevant to everybody. Um, obviously you wanna focus the conversation, but I think um, that any of these people might have comments on A, B, or C, but the bullets indeed would need to change. Um, I'm thinking town manager, even town council president might have an idea around town gown collaboration um, as well as B. Um, they might even have a comment on the town council has a role in CPA requests. So maybe they, uh, maybe, the town council president has some thoughts on that. So I think definitely talking about A, B, and C, but the actual bulleted questions might need to change for those folks. So are we okay with entrusting the development of exact bullet points to the two or three people who are gonna carry out these interviews? Yeah. And not, it seems to me that- Absolutely. We're all on this, we all know what we're trying to do here and it's not, a good use of seven people's time if, for us to wait till the next meeting or some or just got off my pen here. Um, does that make sense that we'll all yes. rearrange these 
Well, it's right. what we agreed originally, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and I also think the ex the the questions that are in the other package, um, Liz has termed them bonus questions, <laughs> um, get at that broader scope, John Page. You know, and so you know you'd still have this boilerplate on saying this is what we're thinking about, but then you jump at the Lynn and the Paul level, um, and you can show them. I mean, pa Paul is going to be in um, at least two conversations. Lynn probably will be in just one. Um, but Good. I want, before we can move on to that other document, is there more to say about this document? No, I don't. The only other thing I would say, um, you know, I'm thinking of the ones that I've been assigned to. I, the, probably the only edit I'll edit, you know, tw uh, formatting I will do is I'll say, um, we're seeking to talk to you about uh, the resident capital requests. Right. You know, so I would just have one, you know, if that's what I'm reaching out to, or we're seeking to talk to you about CP, the CPA process. So I would just have, you know, because um, it says we're, we're going to. Yeah. yeah, so I, that's the only kind of edit. I, it would be really minor because I think the questions are great. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing I would do. Um, yeah, I think then that sentence that says below are the questions we're putting. I think it's important that we let everybody know who else we're talking to so that they're not sure. saying, well, you have to talk to this person, you have to talk, it's like, yeah, we know. Um, so that just, that would need to be edited as well, the, in the, uh, below our questions, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so and I'm, this, Go ahead. This, I, I'm thinking that this is, you've managed to be so um, economical in the way you've written it, Liz, that there's enough- You said one page. <laughs> you know, that the, the, at the end of the um, this document, there's enough um, space where we can just say we are talking to X and X for resident and Y and Y. I mean, we've got we probably have enough space there if we just want to copy in from the minutes. You know who's okay. And where are you saying at the end here? Yeah. Well, just I don't think we need to put names in there. I think as long as we say we're talking to representatives, because we don't know for certain that we're going to be able to talk to Sarah and Sam and right. whoever else from from CPAC. Yeah. So, so yeah. So I would just say we are talking to you know at least two of us are talking to CPA. We're setting right, up the, right. Right. We, yeah. Yeah, so rather than specific names. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to add a sentence up here. Uh, just to leave open, the, the allocation can come from the town budget, charitable contributions, or a combination, because a lot of, uh, just to soften everybody's anxiety about where the money comes from. I know John McCabe and I have interested in exploring charitable contributions, but it's premature because we don't know what we're talking about yet. But um, Only one problem with that, Meg. I mean, it certainly fits when we talk about the C, you know, other things. Um, we went through with a um, percent for art. It's a fairly arduous process for Sonia to set up a way to take contributions to the town. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's an entirely, it's a, it's a very different concept if right. we're running it. In terms of laying out what participatory budgeting is in this first sentence. I, I think it's a paragraph. I mean, I think Liz did an excellent job. I'm just suggesting adding where the funding comes from, but it's just my uh, my proposal, but we don't have to do it. Should we, other comments on it? You're saying you don't think we need it, Kathy? Well, because it's, it, it, well, because you're gonna raise objections from Sonia Aldrich, because the first sentence says how to spend part of the public budget. And it's not that easy to put in con charitable contributions into a public into a public budget. So I think we but, should definitely keep those words when you're we're talking about, you know, what other ways that might be. I, I think you're just going to raise flags. Are you talking about setting up a new fund where the town would collect? So I think it raises funds. How about, how about we say in other, you know, in other communities or typically or well. I, I, I'm trying to explain what I think it will be a red flag that it will say, what do you mean by this? How would we collect this? It, it will take the conversation in a different way. Um, but I think in the report, we can say that. I just think it's a red flag. Okay, others? Should we, it's not that big a deal. I'm, I'm gonna go just, along with Meg. What? I'm gonna go along with Meg um, to only because 
I think um, it gets it. Shoulders go down when I, I think when people think that they're going to get a, a percentage carve out of their money, they're going to say they're just going to not want to have the conversation, you know. Um, I think, and I I I, I get your uh, technical point, Kathy, but I think politically, um, I mean, we saw it with Paul. He he felt much more relaxed when we were saying we we think we could probably go find some money for this. Yeah. And he thought, oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so just just leave it in. Um, you know, our our focus questions are all about how do we rank, how do you distribute the money. So it's certainly in the conversation with Paul and Lynn, or CPOs. Uh, I'm just you know we actually spent two days on this with Sonia explaining to us why we couldn't easily do a public process with charitable contributions. I thought, um, you know, so like the anonymous donation to the library to build the library up here had to be in a separate, it couldn't be in a town account. It was, it's just, it was a, it was interesting on, so leave it in, leave it, it have in. to be in a, a, Kathy, I'm just Robert, curious. The Johnson Foundation funded basically any participatory budgeting program in anywhere in New Jersey. Somehow they were able to do it. I'm just curious, Kathy. Does it have to be? At, and let's suppose the proposal the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation made a million dollars available to the town of Amherst. <laughs> you know, let's the dream. Why would it have to be? In, and maybe it does have to be. But why would it have to be inserted into the budget? Why can't it be a standalone account? Um, well, it, it could be a standalone account in a 501c3 that the town wasn't running. So just look at the first sentence, how to spend part of the public budget. This sentence definitely goes with C, A, B, and C, potential town gown club. You know, it wouldn't have to run through the public budget is what you're saying. I'm going to just stop. Wondering. I don't, you know, I'm going to stop. For some reason, it was, um, you know, when the, when the schools wanted to collect donations so that students could have Wi-Fi connections with hot spots. Right. They had to do a GoFundMe. They couldn't run it through the school. So I, I don't know what the barrier is. <laughs> I don't really know what the barrier is to doing this, but it was clearly collected for a public purpose and was, right. um, but it somehow, you know, I don't see why the town can't take donations. Um, I think we can set up a chair. We might be able to set, leave it in. I'm spending way much, any, much time on this sentence. Is there yep. any value to, last thing on it, is there any value to finding some town in Jersey and asking I, what they did? Down the road there is, I think if we're going to, I don't, I don't think it's worth our time to. No, I said, let, just leave the sentence in. The only one who would flag it is probably we're not interviewing her, so we're okay. But we could even say it in a different way that's this paragraph here is about how participatory budgeting works generally in the but we're doing it we're doing a variation so this it's totally accurate that many uh communities get charitable contributions but john fenske you were had your hand up uh, just a way to finesse this might might be just a small wording change funding sources might eventually be might eventually come from. Or could eventually come from, oops. Got to yeah, know. right, that, that way, you know, Sonia can't see, would say, you're, you're not saying they can, you're, right. Right, I don't think it's worth our time. Okay, so, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry I flagged it. No, 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 oh. no, good discussion. Oh, I, good. I wasn't, let me finish my sentence, which this is yeah. an important topic, but in terms of preparing for these interviews, I don't think, we need to spend any more time wondering how they do it. We know that places do do it. And if we ever have that opportunity, we'll figure it out. But we're not doing that. Is that okay? Sure. Any other comments on this excellent piece? So I just want to summarize. I think we've agreed that each of the interview teams is going to pull out and uh, organize the bullets in, in a way that's appropriate to the particular interview. Right. And we aren't. We don't all need to see it. So shall we look at the other piece that um, Liz developed? Well, if there, that is specific to whoever's interviewing the town manager. Mm -hmm. And do we need to look at that again, or did we get all of it done last time when we? Well, let's just take a quick look and see what we think. Stop share and then I'm going to start sharing again. 
So um, let, let me add, it's, it would be um, a little misleading to say just the town manager because those questions are again, there for th the three invites that I'm sending out, um, town manager, council president, and the three CPOs. Yep. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. I thought that these were for the secondary meeting that was with the town manager. Um, the town manager is the only one of those three that has two meetings. Uh, you're right, it's for the, this secondary meeting, the one that I'm setting up, but there are also questions, and that's why I objected earlier on, on the, the, the previous, the, the other sheet to thinking that all those questions would go to the CPOs or the council president. In my view, uh, the council president and the CPOs get principally these uh, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B questions. Yeah, I, I, okay. I, I like these questions for that separate interview and I think they work for Lynn quite well. Hmm. Um, I do too. And comments? other than adding one or two and you've already mm -hmm. talked about them for yeah. the CPOs because they have, have an outreach function. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think these work very well. Um, Great. Okay. Um, so excuse me, just, just as an illustration, one thing I, I imagine asking both uh, Lynn and Paul, uh, you know, thinking about um, residents had better uh, under two, where, where you get detailed information on budgeting priorities to try to engage them in the idea that, well, right now you have these four major capital projects and there's a sequencing issue and there are forums to discuss these things and so forth. But in, in an ideal world, uh, 2A and 2B are about getting more detailed information from uh, the people out there to, to help make these decisions, to help with the, the sequencing and the prioritization of the, the four major capital projects. Does that make sense to people that, that it, to get them thinking in concrete terms about the current challenges facing them? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. Great. So again, thank you, Liz. Um, I want to review what we agreed at our last meeting about how we would report because uh, a couple of people weren't at that meeting. Um, so uh, does somebody want to summarize what we was in the minutes? But so each team is going to there's not, we're not gonna have a particular form for reporting that's got a lot of categories and answers. Each team will write a summary of what uh, important points that came out of the meeting and circulate it. And then also questions that came out. Uh, I think the reports can be in bullet form. So it's not, doesn't have to be huge pages of notes. Does that describe what we agreed? Yeah, and what I said I would do when I get this document now that I have this document, that goes in for the interviews, but I will set it up for myself to have lots of space between each right. question. And I'll just be, we'll figure out one of us is scribe, one of us is lead or something. So someone is rat-a-tat-tatting as we get into a discussion. Um, right. Excellent. So maybe everybody wants to do that, put a little, create a worksheet with blank spaces. Um, Holly? Nothing, sorry. Um, no, I, I, you know, I want to thank Holly. I, I just read the minutes for the last uh, CPAC committee meeting, and it says Holly Bowser said the Participatory Budget Commission is going to be coming to talk to you about <laughs> outreach. It was a nice, it was a nice, you gave them a heads up. On yeah, a they, were, they were talking about kind of their plan for next year, and I just thought it was appropriate to let them know that other people are thinking about it too. That's great. Thank you. Okay, um, let's just also agree that everybody who participates in an interview will have a chance to vet the reports before they get circulated. I think that goes without saying, but, um, and that you can circulate them. Let's, let's now discuss the timeline for all of this. When do we want to carry out these interviews? Uh, certainly by the end of February, our next meeting is in two weeks. It's what's, probably, the, what's the date for the next meeting? Um, the next meeting is, is uh, February 4th. 
I think it's, well, what are, what are your thoughts about timing? Schedule, so what we have to do, is, I think takes sometimes longer than we think. Scheduling, conducting the interviews, writing up the notes. Um, I don't think that can all happen in two weeks. What do you all think? I just, I just have a question about the schedule. Did we, I thought we had worked on the schedule so it happened the, were we doing it the week of the council meeting? Because the council, so I was just going to suggest we might not be ready by the fourth, but target the 11th if we make. Okay. And it's, it, the council meets on the, I'm, I'm just suggesting this as, and then I think there might be time between now and the 11th to get these done or to get some of them done. So how does, so the proposal is to change our next meeting from the fourth to the 11th discussion? I thought we had already discussed in the last meeting that we were going to try to shoot for the last week in January, first week in February on these because budget season was going to be coming up quick and people were going to get busy. And okay, we, we were going could. to talk about getting them scheduled as soon as possible, I thought. Yeah, and that's, I'm saying the same thing, Holly. I just think if I can, if we can get it scheduled for next week, great. Right. I don't think we're going to have them all completed and answers and ready to share information by the fourth. But I thought that our goal was to be having these meetings like next week or the first, the end of January, early February. I mean, we wouldn't be ready with the information to come back until the, probably the second meeting, not the next meeting, but my to schedule question, them. We had a discussion right at the end of the meeting last time and I... Uh -huh. So no, I, I agree with you. I mean, I was thinking of getting them scheduled next week. And if we couldn't next week, then the very first few first days. Of February. February. I just, I just meant I don't not know for sure we will have reports ready by. Right. Week. We might not be ready for that discussion at the next meeting, but we should shoot to have the, them definitely scheduled and hopefully completed. Let me ask this in a different way. Given that the work we're doing now is these is conducting interviews and, a, and then processing Maybe them. we should skip the next meeting. Well, the proposal was to have our meeting on the 11th rather than on the 4th. So let's just, do we all agree that it's asking too much to expect them to be scheduled, carried out and reports, you know, yeah. census reports written in a, ahead of the meeting. It's not, I don't think it's okay to just send it out, you know. Two minutes before, right. No, yeah, I so think that the 4th for the meeting okay, so we would all be too early conduct these as soon as we possibly can hopefully before you know by the beginning of you know as early as possible in february um shall we uh have the meeting on the fourth and have some other agenda shall we move our meeting to the 11th or shall we skip a meeting i think we should skip until the 21st not whoops i'm looking the wrong month sorry eight to the eight uh, so we have the fourth and the 18th for our next yeah. two meetings yeah, I, I like that idea that we skip. We, we aim to have all the reports uh, ready for everybody else and distributed uh, up to a week or at least a few days before the meeting of the 18th. Okay, Right. good. So that's, I'm not- just So if we got them out like- If we take longer to do it, I'm just, if we want our reports to be thoughtful and to have a consensus of everybody who carried them out, review them and add things. Okay, so there's a proposal that we- And us to have time to read. And have our- Instead, our next meeting will be on the 18th. Okay, okay. any more discussion? <laughs> One thing, please. Um, Meg, you had sent me an email saying that you, you said, John, you and John are gonna do uh, community development block grant. Is that John Page? Oh, that's I'm, me. I'm sorry. So we, we should decide, one of us will have <laughs> to- problem with John. Okay, let me see. Is, is it you and I, John? Is that John Page and John McCain? It's John Page. I'm so yes. sorry. Okay. Well, We're I'm pretty friendly with Andrew, so I could reach out to him. But I, what's your what's your idea? Sure. I was going to say we just need to choose one of us to write the email, including the questions, and ask for a time. So if you want to do that, that's great. If you just copy Actually, me, we go in. to the chair. I don't. I'm the only person. I went to the meeting last week. The only person I know is Andrew. Uh, Grant Thomas, uh, I didn't recognize that you're, and they're way backed up because the feds are so out of control due to Trump, right. I think is probably what it was. They have got, no, received no money or in, in, information at all. So so they, they have time on their hands at the moment. I think they're, they've ranked their stuff and they've got no money. Yeah. Okay, so at our last meeting, we uh, discussed who would do the calling and you two weren't here. So um, 
why don't I'll just put, never mind. I'm not gonna, I don't have to pull it up. Never mind what I'm doing here. <laughs> I don't have to share the documents. So I'm gonna put John uh, under community development block grants. John Page, is, is that what you just agreed or no, John McCabe, right? Yeah, so I wonder, both is, of it, us is, are it on not, is it not appropriate to just uh, approach a member just because you know him? Should we approach the chair? Is that the way it's probably should Yeah, be? you should send an email to Gail. See, I don't know who that, uh, so I can get all that from the no, town we website. Have to, it's on the town website, yep. But I have talked to her over the garden fence, so she is aware that this question is coming. <laughs> oh, that helps. And did she smile when she heard that they were coming or did she cringe? <laughs> Well, I mean, no more so than my husband has cringed. So, oh, well, that's right. I did. I did see your husband was there. Yes, I did. Yep. <laughs> I think it's important to follow the process that we agree with, even if these yep. are people we know. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, yeah, Gail's information should be on the website. Yeah. I'm so why don't I do this? I don't see Gail's email, but I know um, the st staff email is there. So I'll, I can ask for the chair's email, and um, yep. I can plan on sending that. Um, the request, but I'll, I'll we'll both be on it, John McCabe. If we're going to request a Zoom meeting, yes, is that yes? Yeah. Great. That, that also works. Thank you, Liz. Okay. Um, and, and just I think we probably said this, but these these Zoom meetings can be personal Zoom accounts, right? Yes. Okay. I think absolutely. Yes, it's not a committee. It's not an official committee. It's not a public meeting. It's not an anything. It's so it's you can use whatever you have access to. Well, we're, we're also we're even allowed to use that for district meetings personal. It's just yeah. there. We have to be willing to take on the risks of it. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's uh, unreasonable to expect Angela to set all these up. Um, great. So we need to review. So I just want to make sure that we've agreed that we're not having the meeting on the fourth. Did we, I don't think we need to vote on that, but I'm looking around. Does anybody object? Okay. And uh, just to summarize, does everybody uh, clear about who's doing the outreach? I think so, because we went over it at our last meeting in detail. Which of us on which team? Okay, great. And also it's in Liz's minutes that we just read. So if anyone forgets. Yeah. Right. Okay, terrific. Um, so uh, I think we're all, can't believe it. We're almost finished with our meeting. Hey. <laughs> Uh, John? Um, should we commit to sending our, if we had the meeting, which hopefully we all will, we need to commit to sending those, the report of the meeting yeah. to Meg, to the chair, or how would you like to handle that? By the 11th, I think was what it sounded like. I would like. say, yeah, if we got them to Meg a week early so we could all get them you know, by that Friday or Monday to have time to read them, that would be, that would be helpful to me. Would you like it, to get them in, as they come in or all in a packet? Because what if somebody's really slow? It seems to me, what would, you, what would be better? I think it would be better to have them all come in at one. Okay. Rather than, because then they don't, it. you don't have to worry about things getting lost and. Okay, um, so and, by the 11th? And, and it, excuse me, the, um, the idea is that by the 11th, the uh, subcommittees or whatever we call them, the panels for the interviews will have agreed among themselves on a final draft. Right. I mean, it yep. may not be absolutely final. We might come up with more Quite ideas, cool. but we're, you know, so for example, Liz and Meg and I are agreed that the CPO interview report is, is relatively final by the right. 11th. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my vision. So I, I sort of like the idea of having and, and I don't remember who said it, like just your sort of notes or your bullet points. And then when we get together on the 18th, after we've all read them, then we can ask more detailed questions. Well, what did you mean by this? What did you mean by that? So it doesn't have to be, you know, a seven page report. It's just your, you know, notes, bullets. And then by the 18th, we'll have all read them and be able to ask for more information. Great. So I just want to summarize, we're going to get them into me by the 11th. Does that work for me? That would be perfect. Okay, great. And yep. uh, I just, uh, and okay, terrific. Um, those... Kathy, are you going to send your format to everybody or are we um, all going to do something similar? Kathy's going to do a sort well, of worksheet. I'm, I'm taking, no, I'm taking Liz's Word document and 
hitting, if you do control return multiple right, right. times, you open up white space. That's that's my very- That's how I do. I do. <laughs> that's what I do. And I get a pencil. If, and, <laughs> and if I have, if I'm typing on my iPad, when, if I ever succeed in setting up my second screen, which I bought and I just haven't done it, but what I'm typing on, I can just, it will get larger if that paragraph gets longer, you know, but I will have pre-opened it up. So I don't have to do that. But my question was, we'll all do that for ourselves. Yeah, because it's just, it's, it's my simple, you know, a few of these things I think have yes, no answers. Some of them I'm going to open up with a big block of white space because it might be a, a more nuanced, uh, you know, kind of chat. Wait. Mm -hmm. I want to suggest about the scribe that we've said, just to clarify, every, each group might, ch should probably choose someone to be the note taker, but everybody should be probably writing down little notes to be sure when you process the notes, be, so that you're not only, thank you, uh, the light just went on, must, the, so that you're not, everybody can contribute to the notes. I'm a compulsive note taker and I completely agree with that. Yeah, okay, good. Very high tech. That, that my, my notes sometimes are different than other people's notes, even though we yeah. were in the same meeting. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why, you know. Oh, right. you guys have pads? I have stickies. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, you know, there's so much cloud and who does the agenda and who does the minutes, you know, that's where you, you create history. You know, I, just as a quick, just short antidote, I worked with a woman who was taught when she was in graduate school to take copious notes because you remembered a conversation by taking notes. You know, it was a different way of memory. And so the challenge, she was the head of the foundation I worked with and often was chairing the meeting. My challenge to the staff person who was supposed to take notes is that they would get their notes more complete than Karen, who was chairing the meeting. And they, they never succeeded. <laughs> Hers, hers, and I just said, how does someone ch chair and take notes at this level? Um, but, but it is, it's a, it's wow. a, yeah, she was kind of amazing, but. Well, was. we're lucky we have those recordings, so we don't even have to worry about. Right. You yeah, know. Uh, should we record this thing or no? No. 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 These, I think. I think they need to be informal. The open meeting law doesn't okay. apply so that these can be dynamic discussions that okay. you can take in the direction that the interviewee has ideas and you know where their creativity is or where their questions are. I yeah, the other thing is whoever's Zoom it is, you can record it, but it's just on your computer then. Right. It's, you know, so if you wanted to, you know, capture the actual, you could do it. It's take, it's a hog of, uh, it we takes a lot of, them. pardon? We would have to inform them that we're doing that. Though. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's a good idea, but you, but it doesn't have to be posted to. It won't. It doesn't become a larger thing anywhere. It's um, not part of the public record. Yeah, but we can take advantage of the fact that these are personal dynamic exchanges to to get people's mm -hmm. people clam up when they know they're being recorded. Sure. So, um, terrific. I think we're moving along here, unless I'm wrong. Um, I want to, are, are we, I think we're finished with item four on the agenda. We're down to topics the chair didn't reasonably anticipate. Um, I have one, which is, um, I was, I've been contacted by Scott Mersbach wanting an update on what we're doing. And uh, my instinct, you know, my habit would be to pick up the phone and chat with him, but I thought I would check with you to make sure that you don't, you would pick, read the paper and say, what, what the hell did she, why does she talk to him? It's his job to ask. I think, I personally think it would be great to have a kind of, we're moving along, we're interviewing people. I don't know if he would find that newsworthy enough to write an article, um, but I wanted to get your thoughts on this. And this happened since 48 hours ago. Right, my, my preference would be to stay at a fairly general process level. Um, okay. You know, you could say what, participatory budgeting has been elsewhere, but you know, we've come to, as far as I can tell, we've come to no conclusions. We have right. some, some uh, directions we're investigating, but I wouldn't want him to write something that, you know, suddenly sets off a minor, uh, you know. Especially right before them. the interviews we're doing with right, the rest right. of the folks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anything that we would say would be newsworthy, would be worth writing anything about, frankly, but I want to get more discussion. 
is it best to, maybe maybe we should just do a you know a little press release kind of update that's in writing and then we don't have to worry about him I, then, then everything's in writing we can say this is what we said and we can keep it as vague as we right. want mm -hmm. kathy yeah i i i worry a little bit about it i i agreed with what john said Bensky said staying very general because we need to get these interviews done, which may, you know, be, I hate this idea or it has a kernel or something. And we don't want to feel like there's newspaper, there's media pressure right. on, on anything we're thinking about. So you, you did a nice interview the very first time, you know, what is participant, it came out a while ago. So yeah. I was, I would almost say, can he wait, you know, until yeah. the end of February? Um, yeah. Yep. John? I, I just want to second Liz's um, point. Um, I mean, I'm not going to speak ill of Scott, but I've had my moments when I, I when I was on the <laughs> library board. I resigned um, for I was a really angry person at that particular moment, and I wrote a 700 word resignation letter that was really cogent and thoughtful. And he picked out 25 fighting words. Yeah, and that was and and Mass Live uh, called me and said, "Did you really call the the?" In the tea party and I was like oh god and I said would you like to print my 700 word statement and they did I think you need to whatever because you never know how it's going to play you know I, I got burned pretty badly um and it was but fine that's, but said, that's really good at respecting comp, uh, off the record I've given him it and but but so I it's really important when you're speaking with anyone to choose your words extremely carefully yeah, I, I handed time. him the written statements. I said, could you pu publish that? He said, sure. And then he called out all the, all the <laughs> nastiest things. <laughs> just wow. And it was like, oh, come on, man. Yeah. Um, and sometimes he misquotes people as well. So yeah. it's important to put to I, John? You know. um, Well, some, some of the things that have been said reminded me that we do have a, a public forum um, phase coming up. And I think it might be most helpful if Scott's article could happen around that time, we, we should try to use it strategically to create interest in the public forum. Yeah, perfect. Based on this discussion, I'm proposing we that I get back and say, uh, Give us a we're just carrying out some interviews. It's really not, we don't have much to say. Uh, I, I, I have, anyway, never mind. I was gonna say how I've learned how to manage Scott Mersbach um, <laughs> to say, thank you for your, you know, I'll make him eager to find out what we're doing in three weeks or four weeks that we're interviewing people. I will have a lot more to say soon. Okay, is that everybody satisfied with that decision? Yeah. Great. I think that's smart, yes. Um, okay, is there, I'm gonna check if there's any public, which there isn't, I don't think. Is there any public who wants to speak? I'm looking at this participants here. Zero, no attendance. No attendance, okay, so I note there's nobody here. Um, this is great, we were so efficient. I'm gonna review what the follow-up that we agreed and if anything I say is not what you thought it was, uh, speak up. Holly and Meg are going to determine where the minutes are and get them filed. Um, each interview team will finalize its own materials, will determine the note taker and the reporting format um, and each team will approve the notes let's call them notes and not minutes, uh, the notes that will report on each conversation before they're submitted. Um, all of the reports will be sent to me by the 11th and I will send them all out in a group. And I'm gonna do it right away on the 11th because uh, so people really have a chance to process uh, what comes out of these. Um, we also agreed we're going to skip our next meeting and our next the subsequent meeting is on the 18th to 18. I, I didn't, any other follow up that is important to be sure we all agreed. And I think it also it was agreed that each group will create its own, uh, we'll take what Liz did and we'll create its own um, invitation and summary to the, each preparatory summary of what we want to talk with each group about. Does that summarize our plan? Yeah, is it helpful at all to like, just to take two seconds and, and while, rather than email back and forth? I mean, John, when do you want to start? Like that sort of, can we just nail that down verbally or? Sure, um, 
I, after this meeting, I can probably, uh, if I, once I get Gail's email, I can send that off, but why don't I edit the CDBG one, which I don't think I would change very much at all, besides saying, greetings, Gail, and adding a few things. Um, why don't I send that to you? And I try to do that um, this, either this week or this weekend. So by Monday. That'd be awesome. Yeah, school starts okay, on Monday, that. So, but, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll get it done. And for, for my three invites, I'll share those with um, Liz and Meg before sending them out and uh, try to get Likewise, by this weekend at the latest, I'll send you a draft and then send the invites either on the weekend or early next week. Great. And um, I'm just looking at the notes. Kathy is going to contact Paul and Sean, and I'm sure you've got that under control. And uh, Sarah. I'm, on, I'm on resident and CPAC, right? Yeah, but you want to yeah. switch that with somebody so you don't have to do it? No, I want to do both. I'd like to do both, yeah. So I sent out with the materials for this meeting this, um, I'm not gonna try to share a screen because you don't really need to see it, but this I think is accurate list of the teams and the three asterisks mean you're the person who's doing the uh, sending, the scheduling. Okay, so those materials, um, I don't think we received, but also that is in the minutes. It is the minutes. It's in, it's in Liz's minutes. Yeah, Wait, it's in the minutes. You this you didn't, okay, I'll send it right after. No, it, it, yeah, it, but it's in the minutes, so. Yeah, it's in the minutes. Okay. Um, uh, anything else? I just wanna thank everyone for this level of hard work. This is a real, you know, hands-on uh, project that we've, we're undertaking with these interviews. And I think it's terrific. I think we're gonna get some good information and really appreciate everybody pitching in with thoughtful ideas and willingness to do this level of work between meetings. So it's, we earned missing a meeting. We earned skipping <laughs> the February 4th meeting because we're gonna all have to work so hard between now and then. Um, any other comments or before we adjourn? Nope. Okay, well, I'm gonna move that we adjourn and it is 4.30. Record time. Anyone in uh, anyone in favor? All in I'll, favor? I'll uh, second John, that. Right, let's just Kathy. Yes. Second discussion. Yes. Goodbye. John Fenton, Holly. Good. Yes. You don't need to pull. We can just we say. To, yeah, we don't need to. Everybody agrees. Okay. So, bye, bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thank you very much. Be in touch soon. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, John.